Divorce lawyers of Reddit. What's the most outrageous reason someone filed for divorce? My aunt was dating an unemployed dude for a while. He was staying in her house rent free. They got married and were getting ready to go on the honeymoon when the new husband tells her he's not going because he has to take care of his plants at the house. Big fight. Aunt goes on the honeymoon with her sisters instead. She comes home and tries to kick him out of her house. He refuses to leave. She tries to get the police involved. Dude is live streaming on Facebook how he is being trapped in his own home. Police tell my aunt there is basically nothing they can do. Can file for eviction after a divorce. Dude gets to live in her house with his precious plants for like 3 months until everything legally gets worked out. Kind of in the same category. I've had a lot of younger male potential clients come in for divorce consults with their mother. Then. During the consult. The mother does 98% of the talking. And it's clear who actually wants the divorce. I'll usually escort mom to wait in the lobby while I talk to the son directly. And most of the time he's just there to appease his mother. Close bracket. Semicolon. The related note. I once had just a mother call for a consult because she said explicitly she wanted her son to get a divorce. I politely informed her that's not how divorces worked. Semicolon. Edit. Because I apparently don't know how to italicize things on Reddit anymore. Paralegal. A couple got divorced over a cat. Wife called cat snowball because of white fur and only wanted the cat to eat wet food or chicken breast. Husband called cat lily again because of white fur and believed it should only eat dry food. These two argued for a year over custody of the cat but did not give up about their human kids age 15 months. 4 years. And 6 years old. My aunt had a case where the wife had glued all of the outdoor hoses together so he wouldn't spend more time washing his vehicle anymore. When the glue didn't work she just cut them all up. When he bought new ones they filed for divorce. My 90 year old client, the husband, and his son retained me to initiate divorce proceedings with his 88 year old wife. They'd been married 60 years. The wife had recently taken to beating him with his own cane. Because their daughter poisoned her into thinking he was hiding money from them. The battle came down to husband and son versus wife and daughter. At their first court appearance. My client showed up in an old 1950s style pinstripe suit and fedora. He was a farmer his whole life. And this was clearly the only suit he owned. He was such a meek and lovely old gentleman. I had to pass my client on to a new lawyer midway through the proceedings because I accepted a job in a different country. But I understand the divorce was eventually granted. You think it was the suit he got married in? Well. I married her in this suit and now. Colleague handled a case where money was not an issue but the kids were. Neither parent wanted them. I represented a PRN actress webcam model who filed for divorce from her husband who also did the PRN webcam model business. He would do gay PRN on the side because the pay was better. She was hesitant about it. But dealt with it because the pay was decent. Both sides had an agreement that it wasn't cheating as long as it was for work. One day she came home early and found her husband in bed with two men. They were not filming. That was too much for her. Needless to say. The old conservative judge couldn't wrap his head around this one. When I clerked for a judge. We had a week long divorce trial between a couple. The husband was a wildlife photographer and the wife was a stay at home wife. No kids. Boo. Helped remodel the home. Anyway. Husband was mauled by a grizzly bear he was photographing. Spent several months in the hospital and rehab and was served papers shortly after getting out. Now without an eye and with severe scarring on his face and side. She wanted half of everything. The non-scarred half at least. Not a divorce lawyer. But I had a friend whose parents divorced for irreconcilable differences over time spent playing a verquest. My dad was a divorce lawyer. He had a client who wanted to divorce her husband for two reasons. 1. He did not have enough hair on his chest. 2. He did not drive fast enough. Keep in mind this was in the 70s when chest hair was a bit more important. 
my grandfather's brother was a judge who presided over state issue marriages from time to time. One couple he married returned six months later to confirm the wedding and end their trial marriage. When he thusly informed them that there was no such thing and that they had been married for six months they subsequently broke up. I didn't like her anymore two days after being married. In sickness and in heath. She was kidnapped in Mexico and he refused to pay ransom. Eventually her family managed to pay and she was left on the side of the road. It is not outrageous as in petty but outrageous as how absurd that is. Edit to answer all the questions. I don't know how much they wanted as ransom. But it was substantial as the conversation between her family and him was how he had it liquid and they had to liquidate investments to get that amount. She may have told me. She may not. Something in pesos and I didn't know the conversion rate. It was all a random number to me. This happened about 7 years ago. He wasn't with her on the trip. She was traveling with cousins and went downstairs alone to get ice cream and wait for them to get ready. I do not know all the details. She was extremely distraught talking about it and it was not necessary to pry. It was clearly traumatic and even tough I had a million more questions I left it alone. I'm an intern but the judge I work for used to do divorce work. He has some crazy stories but this one is probably the most outrageous. Though the divorce was pretty justified. Every morning this couple would sit in the bathroom together while one of them had their morning dump. One would sit on the toilet and the other on the rim of the bathtub. This particular morning the wife was on the toilet and husband on the edge of the tub. They started to argue about their relationship so the wife reaches down. Pulls her tampon out and flings it at husband. I'm told the tampon stuck for a brief second to his forehead before sliding off. He filed for divorce that same day or the next. Edited because I don't know what words mean. I knew a guy from a high school job who divorced his wife of two months because she would sleep with a nightlight but he could only sleep in total darkness. As they apparently never lived together until after getting married. He hated her nightlight so much that he would often sleep on the couch instead. But sometimes he would claim the bed for himself and lock her out of the bedroom for the night. This was an eccentric late 40s man working at a Burger King who acted like all the other high school co-workers were his best chums. And often told us these weird stories. I'm glad I don't work with him anymore. He had an argument with the new in-laws during the wedding and moved out at around 5am during the first night. Marriage speedrun. I was a legal assistant when this case came in. But this lady divorced her husband of 2 months because he got her an iPad case for her birthday instead of the expensive jewelry she wanted. I dated a girl that didn't speak to me for a day or two because I got her an iPad instead of jewelry. Her reassencing was. Because I could just use yours. Semicolon. Man I was going to say that our client was served divorce papers for sending a couple hundred thousand dollars overseas in a scam. But damn you guys got better ones than me. Edit. It wasn't a couple hundred thousand. But over half a million Australian dollars. Emailing to a Sibaltic woman back and forth over a period of time over which he sent the dollars totaling to the $500k plus. No video calling or anything. Just emails. My client put his wife in an assisted living facility based on a misdiagnosis. The medication of which caused the wife to be unable to care for herself. While in the facility. My client shocker started dating another woman and methinks began using hard drugs. He used a loot of money on both of these things. She eventually got off the medication and got better. Suffice to say. She was not happy about what had transpired. Friend of mine divorced his then wife because she would only speak French when her family would come over. She was Spanish. As was her family. Semicolon. To add. Her family spoke English. French and Spanish. He could only speak Spanish and English. She got bored of being married to him. Her family basically talked about him whilst he was there. Was only when he recorded a conversation whilst they were there and got it translated he found out what was going on. Semicolon. Semicolon. Edit. Oopsie. Wasn't the reason but did happen during the course of the divorce. Neither side would follow the court orders. 
when they had to go back to court they were fighting over a pistol and the man's grandmother's bowls. I assumed for weeks that these bowls were some sort of heirloom more expensive china. When they finally brought the bowls in to swap they were in Tupperware. Staff attorney for a judge. Not a divorce but a custody modification hearing. Ex-wife wanted sole l &P custody of the kids because the ex-husband was spending all his money on a palm reader psychic and refused to pay child support. On cross. Ex-wife's attorney got him to admit that he was spending all his discretionary income on this psychic. He said he had spent over 5. 000 dollars on readings and other services there. Judges frequently chime in with questions and domestic matters. So my judge asked why he was not paying support as his divorce decree required. His explanation was I, the psychic could read that his children were provided for without his money and I I, he would be able to repay the ex when he takes the children to Mexico permanently to seek great riches there. Which my judge read as my psychic told me to kidnap my kids. TL. DR. Deadbeat ex-husband spent all his money on a psychic rather than child support. Told the judge he intended to kidnap his children. Semicolon. Edit. Words. My husband's first marriage lasted 6 months. He found out she had been sleeping around with several of his friends and one of those friends finally felt so guilty that he fessed up. Husband actually wanted to work it out if he could. But when he tried to talk to her about it. She locked him out of the house and told him she wanted a divorce. Why did you marry me? He finally asked her. Her response? Because he was the only one she was sleeping with who could afford her dream wedding. Yup. Bitch married him because she wanted a wedding and chose the person who could afford it. Mind you. He wasn't wealthy by any means. He just wishes his friend had felt guilty about say. Six months sooner. I had some friends get divorced because she legit hated Dale Earnhardt and he legit hated Jeff Gordon. Nazca fans from 1995 to 2005 would not consider this a petty issue. My douche cousin told his wife she had three chances to give him a son. Daughter was born first. Strike one. Son was born second. Then they find out the boy can't eat gluten. So my cousin divorced her and has made zero effort to see his kids. Edit. I remembered something else he did. He would take off work and instead of spending time with the babies or her he'd tell her just act like I'm at work and do all your normal stuff. Then he'd watch TV all day. Douche. Wait so just because the kid can't eat gluten he doesn't want to see him? Whoa. Pathetic. It's not even a big problem. My great great grandparents had an interesting case. He was abusive. Like pimp her out and then beat her for infidelity levels of abuse. This was the 1910s. Though. And in our state you couldn't initiate a divorce for cruelty. In fact. The only possible grounds for divorce was infidelity. A few times. She tried just leaving him anyway. Once he came home from work and she. Plus all eight of their kids were just gone. But he always found them. And since they were still married, he had every right to grab the kids and go back home with them. Finally, she moved out and went to live with another man. She flaunted the new guy around town until her no good husband got embarrassed enough to sue her for divorce on the grounds of infidelity. Although she couldn't read or write, she put her ex on those papers the minute he served her. It was a major local scandal, very catholic community. Divorce was rare. But she got what she needed to be safe. My client was the outrageous one. So my heart went out to his poor wife. He had OCD which manifested primarily financially. So he made their lives a penny pinching hell. Examples. He was obsessed with avoiding unnecessary driving, wear and tear on the car. Gas expenses. So he cut the whole family's hair at home and never let them eat at a restaurant or go to the movies. Weirdest of all. He kept one toilet paper roll on him at all times and you had to get one square from him before you could go to the bathroom. He never gave more than one square. Wife finally got fed up and left him when one, he gave her bangs during an in-home haircut and two, their daughter was so traumatized by the toilet paper thing they couldn't potty train her. Also. 
He hated paying his divorce lawyer bill. He was also an old fashioned mega catholic who considered divorce a deadly sin. He viewed my whole job as an unnecessary and sinful expense. Holy one square? One nine square? Does he rabbit pellets? That guy is a monster. Not me. But a friend my mum has divorced her husband because his mother still coddled him at age 40. With his consent. They lived with his mother, common in Asia. By coddle I mean that she would walk straight into their room after his shower and powder his back for him. They couldn't lock their bedroom door because his mother would come in as and when she wanted. If they locked the door. She would knock repeatedly asking what they were doing. Lol what would they be possibly doing? Playing poker? Paralegal here. Still remember an early case I worked on. Man divorced his wife for her bingo addiction. 10 to 12 times per week she went to bingo. She was 82 he was 86. Semicolon. But the all time greatest. 220 somethings. They were irreconcilable because he kept smoking her weed stash when she wasn't home. I worked as a paralegal for a divorce lawyer. Case and Lysis was one of my main responsibilities. Are you not? A recently married couple, of two years, broke it off because the husband would not stop feeding the dog. The dog got outrageously fat. Apparently she saw connection between the dog and future children. A friend of mine got married when she was 19 so she could drink at a bar. In Wisconsin you can drink underage with a parent or a spouse. Then when she turned 21 she got a divorce since she was legal to drink without him. Seems like an easy in and out transaction but oh no. The biggest item they fought over was the garage beer refrigerator. Go figure. Not the most outrageous. But I had a client incur about 20 additional hours of billable hours because he and his ex-wife were battling and went to trial over their Star Wars collection. This was the only issue at trial. They were able to work out custody. Child support. The house. But the Star Wars collection went to trial. The judge ended up splitting it in the most asholish way possible. Basically giving each side half of what they wanted and then mixing and matching everything else and breaking up collections. When speaking about it at a conference. The judge admitted she did it because if they were going to act like children. She would treat them like children. The thing is. The value of this collection was over $100k. So hardly kids stuff. Either side had it in them to appeal. Nor was the case law on either side given judicial discretion in property distribution. I was interning at the time. But my favorite was a couple filed because they both came out as homozool. Filed for irreconcilable differences. Seemed amicable though. Worked in matrimonial law for a year and a half before I had to leave BC it just overwhelmed me with how awful humanity is. I'll never forget filing papers that described her soon to be ex-husband's behavior. Including. M Sturbert's on the living room couch without closing the door and leaves sticky tissues everywhere with further description of their three young children potentially walking in on him. I do my student practice at my family's law firm. Young woman filed for a divorce because her husband drank one beer during weekdays after a day of work. The guy wasn't violent. Doing drugs. Or anything like that. He was just a normal. Polite guy who liked to have a cold one after 10 hours shift. They are very good couple and argue so rarely that this woman's friends told her to write down everything he did to upset her and reread it every day. So she had reasons to be angry about. My mom, lawyer, set the woman straight. Told her he just doing what all guys do and to find herself new friends instead of ones ready to sabotage their marriage. Comma they are very good couple and argue so rarely that this woman's friends told her to write down everything he did to upset her and reread it every day. So she had reasons to be angry about. The is wrong with these friends? He got drunk at the wedding. She did not like it. And decided to divorce him right after the honeymoon, which she went without him. Moreover. This was all an elaborate scheme of divorce robbery. Because the guy was loaded. And so was his entire family. They were loaded because they were a family of excellent lawyers. And he was a third generation lawyer. 
with all the smarts and experience of his predecessors combined. Let's just say it did not go well for her. I am not a lawyer. But I am a court clerk. Not a lawyer. But my uncle's wife left him because he was spending most of the time at the hospital with my dying grandfather instead of spending time with her. Was a loud chewer at the dinner table. He developed a complex and literally needed out as he couldn't bear to eat with her. Edit. This has gone gangbusters. Thanks guys. This sounds like a Seinfeld B plot. Now. But my father's best friend divorced his wife over her cooking. Apparently. Every day he would come home to amazing cooked meals. Here. She couldn't cook at all and was ordering food from different restaurants. She even went as far as dirtying pots and pans to make it look like she cooked all day. She got away with this for almost a year before he caught on. This was back in the day before you could check your bank statements online. And since she did all the billing. He didn't notice how much money was missing that she was spending on takeout. Not a divorce lawyer. But got out of my first marriage because shortly after we got married he decided he didn't like the way I talked. And asked me not to talk when we were out in company unless I could talk straight. Knew a couple a little over a decade ago who I was close friends with. The wife wanted children and after several months of trying plus a doctor visit later he was found to be infertile unable to have children due to his sperm. She filed for divorce several weeks later. Then one random hookup later she got pregnant from a one night stand while the proceedings were still going. He used that in the court battle which assisted with him taking the majority of their possessions post split due to her actions. I'm not a lawyer but I was once buying a computer from someone on Craigslist and when I got to his house it was full of computers everywhere. There were monitors laying on the floor and half built computers laying around. Full built computers all over the place. And I'm talking expensive gaming computers not your everyday all in one computers. Comma I'm not a lawyer but I was once buying a computer from someone on Craigslist. Good enough for me. The dog he bought me ed on the carpet. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Kind stranger. To be fair. It really tied the room together. Taught the parakeet certain cuss words for his wife. Ha ha ha. The parrot lives with the man now. Divorce lawyer in London. Had a client who indulged in some recreational drug use. His dealer lives in the same apartment building as him. Went down one day to pick up some of that sweet. Sweet cocaine. When drug dealer, female, came to the door he could hear his wife in the background. Turns out that his wife also liked the higher life and was getting her fix in with the neighborhood dealer. But it doesn't end there. Because they all get on so well they start having parties and hanging out. Parties become drug fueled orgies and hey presto each week the husband and wife put their kids to be and head downstairs to the dealer's flat for a feast of drugs and flesh. A couple of months go by and the wife comes home and says she is leaving him to be in a full time same sex relationship with the dealer. Dude is now stressed af but he can't score no more from his dealer who stole his missus. TL. DR. Husband's drug dealer got the wife hooked on more than just drugs and stole his girl. It's not a ridiculous reason. It's a ridiculous scenario. Happened to a friend. Girlfriend wanted a cat even though it was against rules in that building. My friend caved and they got one. Then she brought another one home without asking what he thought about it. Didn't get that one fixed. It had two different litters. When it was all said and done they had 12 cats in a 2 bedroom house and she didn't think it was a problem even though it drove him out of his mind. I know a couple. Both lawyers. Got separated because of the husband can't stand the wife's loud and energetic personality. Hum. No. If only that quality was readily apparent before marriage. Now. But the story of the couple in Algeria always gets me. Groom sees his new wife the morning after the wedding without makeup. Takes her for an intruder. I've told this story here before. But the short version was that a dude was married for something like 20 years. Wife would get up each morning before he was awake and do her makeup. He'd go to work and all was well. One day she decides to meet him for lunch across the street without makeup. 
He'd never in his life seen her without makeup. He walked in. Couldn't find her. She was devastated. Divorced him because he couldn't recognize his own wife. Now. But my old neighbor divorced his wife because she no longer wanted to dye her hair blonde. Probs more reasons. But that was his final straw. I'm not a divorce lawyer. But the parents of one of my high school friends had a pretty ridiculous reason. His dad was using the stove to make jello. His mom said jello is too fattening and tried to grab the pan out of his hand to dump it down the sink. He pulled the pan back while she was trying to snatch it. And she called that act of refusing to throw out the jello spousal abuse. He packed his bag and left that night, moved to a town one. 500 miles away where he knew literally no one. Just to get away from her. They had been married for over 20 years. And I think that was just the last straw. As with any of these cases. Though. There's probably more going on behind the scenes that no one outside the marriage ever knows about.